Hey everybody, so somebody asked how, I don't know if they asked, but they said, I would like to get an internship. I would do it right away. I'm in a boot camp. I would get an internship right away if I could. So what you should do to get an internship is number one, you have to have at least some basic skills. You gotta be productive in some way. So if you were, say, wanna get into web development, you should be comfortable with HTML and CSS. You should know a little bit of JavaScript and maybe understand at least the basics of server-side development, regardless of the language. So let's say it's PHP, you know, a little bit of PHP and uh, you know how, to, how the basic process of the request response cycle works in regard to PHP and all this kind of stuff whatever, node, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Once you have at least the basics, so you're able to go in there, create a simple project, maybe tweak some other projects, then you can approach companies and say, listen, I'm looking for an internship. This is my skill set. This is what I can do. And I'll work for free for two months, something like that. And how do you find these people? You just look in the area, look for local firms that do what you want to do and give them a call who knows you may get rejected 20 times but you never know just call them up say i'm willing to work for free i'm productive i'm very eager to to help you guys out and for me i just want to learn that's it and you see what happens you just got to reach out start talking to people and that's the way to do that so let me close this video and talk about this microsoft uh, thingamajigger So what does this thing do? This is the equivalent of the Chromecast and to a lesser extent, maybe Apple TV, more like the Chromecast. Chromecast is Google's device where you hook it up to your TV via HDMI. Uh, then you're able to project from your laptop, from your smartphone, your, onto your TV and uh, that's it. So this is the same thing for Microsoft. I figure what they call it now. And uh, anyway, don't buy it. Don't buy Microsoft's equivalent to the Chromecast. I bought this, cost me like 50 bucks, and the bloody thing doesn't work most of the time. And I connect it using my Surface Pro 4, not quite the flagship, but right up there, very one of the most powerful machines, and it stutters. So you're trying to play video or audio, and then it just drops, it just stutters. It doesn't buffer properly. And so you're listening to, you're watching a video. Doesn't matter if it's in SD or HD and the thing just drops, click, click, and it starts sputtering along. Never works. I just got the Chromecast a couple of days ago for video. It's flawless. It's flawless. From my phone, I click, play, HD video, no problem. Never stutters, doesn't buffer very long. It's almost uh, instant. And I got a moderate Wi-Fi connection works amazingly well. So don't buy this, doesn't work. Microsoft, once again, dropping the bomb as they always do. It's unbelievable, you know, it's unbelievable. It's just through legacy that they're able to uh, make it by because their products are so inconsistent, you know, they're so inconsistent. Reliability is just not there. I remember, I remember when .NET came out, uh, whatever, 1999, I think it was, or 2000, I think it was 99. And I, at that point, I was heavy into Java. And so I decided I'm going to take a look at .NET, specifically C Sharp .NET. So I took an app that I built, a web app that I built in Java, Java JSP servlets with uh, Java Beans. And I basically cloned it in ASP.NET C Sharp, just to see how it would go. And as is typical of Microsoft, on the outside, it looks shiny and cool. Oh, it can do this, it can do that. But whenever you deviate just a little bit from the core, the whole thing starts falling apart. It's just like a disaster. I remember at the time, the driver to be able to connect from ASP.NET C Sharp to SQL Server, Microsoft's database server. It didn't work half the time. I couldn't get the connection. Couldn't, it just didn't work. So I, I remember it was so frustrated that, uh, you know, to do with JWC Java, the Java way, it was like, boop, no problem. So even within Microsoft's ecosystem, it was falling down, it was failing. Whereas Java, connecting to Microsoft's database server was no problem. Eventually I got things to work with .NET, but it was, uh, it's typical of Microsoft. They, if you stay within their narrow confines, things will work good.
as soon as you want to go outside of it, you're done. And so that's why, like I was talking about the Surface Pro, I don't know, a year ago. It's like, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, in many respects, the user interface and, you know, and the touch and all this kind of stuff with Surface Pro and Windows 10, it feels very advanced. It feels like, wow, this is a great operating system. This is like the new way of doing things. And you go back to Mac OS, and Mac OS seems a little antiquated. You know, like the windowing is not as good as it is on Windows and so on. But at the end of the day, Mac OS is 1,000 times more stable. It just works. It's just solid. It just works. And that's the big difference between Microsoft products and other companies like Google Chromecast. It just works. Works really well. Microsoft's version, it breaks. It doesn't work. It's not usable. It's not usable. It just clips and falls and I've done all the updates. Uh, Chromecast, fantastic. Same thing with uh, Windows. It seems Windows 10 keeps updating itself every three minutes. And sometimes the updates are really great and sometimes the updates are they're terrible. And uh, it's unbelievable to me that they do that. The recent update of Windows 10, I just... Uh, updated a few weeks ago, well actually a few days ago personally, it's really nice, they really did a good job this time around, but then I think to myself, what's going to happen in uh, three weeks when they do another update and they start breaking everything? It's hard to use a platform where you're constantly faced with frustrations because uh, of instabilities and so forth. With Mac, it just works. Yeah, you pay more, but you know what? It just works. Anyway, it's not, it's not a Windows bashing thing. I was here to bash this thing here. So don't buy this Windows. If you want to project video from your laptop or your smartphone uh, to your TV, get the Chromecast 100,000 times better. All right, jump.